thinking broadly about the relationship between communities you work with and the media, would you say it's good? Would you say they're covered appropriately? Um, or would you say there's more work to do? Uh, I would say there's a big, broad range. Uh, there are folks probably even in this room that have been exceptional in their coverage. Star and Tribune have at times given us exceptional coverage. I'm looking at Bill Storm with the uptake, who's done very detailed work with us on various stories. And KFI, KFI uh, we were just there this weekend with Soul Tunes Radio. Uh, so there's, there's lots of good stuff happening. And there's a whole range, but I think like any industry, uh, of stuff that's, that's not so good, I think. Um, you know, our ask would, would be, in all the ways that Sean has laid out, that the industry do a better job of sort of policing itself. There's, there's a limited amount that we can do on the outside as uh, oftentimes fodder for stories, but there's a lot that journalists uh, and newsrooms can do uh, internally uh, to sort of mediate and regulate uh, what you all do as an industry. And I think when there are cases like this that are true outliers, frankly, this case, this piece could have, produ could have been produced in uh, 1814 or 1714, as far as we're concerned. And that's not acceptable in other industries. I don't care if you're making widgets, uh, model airplanes, or TV sets. You don't get to go back in time a couple hundred years and decide that uh, you're suddenly setting the standard. Uh, they're not. And so I think uh, the ask is that, that you all do exactly what you're doing and hold each other accountable. Uh, when you see outlier pieces like this, uh, don't let it stand. I mean, this is, it's, it's a form of violence, frankly, uh, when a publicly FCC licensed organization like KSDP is allowed to frame a story that criminalizes people's racial undertones and does it on community airwaves and public airwaves, uh, it's a form of violence. And uh, for folks like you all to have uh, taken a position we think is, is admirable, it's exactly the right thing to do, and that's the thing that leads to, I think, progressive change over time. Jane, I'll turn to you.